This is called Breaking Stalin's Nose by Eugene Yelchin, and it is a Newbery Honor Book Award winner. Chapter One. My dad is a hero and a communist, and more than anything, I want to be like him. I can never be like Comrade Stalin, of course. He's our great leader and teacher. The voice on the radio says, Soviet people follow our great leader and teacher, the beloved Stalin, forward and ever forward to communism. Stalin is our banner. Stalin is our future. Stalin is our happiness. Then a song comes on. A bright future is open to us. I know every word. And singing along, I take out a pencil and paper and start writing. Dear Comrade Stalin, I want to thank you personally for my happy childhood. I am fortunate to live in the Soviet Union, the most democratic and progressive country in the world. I have read how hard the lives of children are in the capitalist countries, and I feel pity for all those who do not live in the USSR. They will never see their dream come true. My greatest dream has always been to join the young Soviet pioneers, the most important step in becoming a real communist like my dad. By the time I was one year old, my dad had taught me the pioneer's greeting. He would say, young pioneer, ready to fight for the cause of the Communist Party and Comrade Stalin? And in response, I would raise my hand in the pioneer's salute. Of course, I couldn't reply, always ready, like the real pioneers do. I couldn't talk yet. But I'm old enough now, and my, I, my dream is becoming a reality. Tomorrow at my school's pioneer rally, I will finally become a pioneer. It's not possible to be a true pioneer without training one's character in the Stalin spirit, Stalinist spirit. I solemnly promise to make myself strong from physical exercise, to forge my communist character and always be vigilant. Always our capitalist enemies are never asleep. I will not rest until I am truly useful to my beloved Soviet land and to you personally, dear comrade Stalin, thank you for giving me such a wonderful opportunity. Forever yours, Sasa Zyshik, Moscow Elementary School, number 37. When I imagine comrade Stalin reading my letter, I get so excited and I can't sit still. I rise up and march like a pioneer around the room and then head to the kitchen to wait for my dad. If you're interesting to see how Breaking Stalin's Nose Happens, feel free to check out this book at our Wilder Library. You can also find it on the Junior Library Guild site during our remote learning.